so hello friends my name is ravindra in this video we will see how to edit the choice column by using the power automate okay so this is a choice column okay let's we add one row here so you can be understand and number id let's we give 7 anything here we give 70 7 and the choose of choice column we have the choice choices here okay so we use this okay. So we will select value 1, value 2 and let's save it. So data is saving. You can be see. So in our choice column we have this, uh, we have to store the multiple values. How to do this in the power automate I will show you. Okay. So I will just show my choice column to you. So you can be understand. So this is a given choice name column and these are the multiple values. Value 1, value 2, value 3 and here we are given the values 1, 2, 3. Okay. If you have to add some you can be add and for here I just uh, enable the multiple selects is true. Okay. Uh, let's we jump to the power automate okay so here uh, you can be see i have created one uh, if you have to uh, pass the value dynamically multiple choice okay so if you go here and choices column so it will show you the choices you can be see one value one value two value three you, you have to select these values okay so um, how to do this dynamically means uh, by just uh, if you have to pass some value if you write here value it will give you the error okay so how to do this okay dynamically i will show you okay how to select the pass the multiple values okay so use this first go to the enter custom values in the custom <coughs> i use here um, manually trigger flow so just uh, select the input okay so we are selected input let's save the flow input is required okay provide number okay so yeah let's we save it okay no problem let's we test it let's test it manually let's we add here number <coughs> we add number here one our flow is run successfully and the flow is successful now you can be see <coughs> we are passed here a value one okay so the first choice okay so in the data work as you see okay i will just open this edit value so mean we pass this value on the basis of this value we will submit the cho choices okay so in the case we are submitted one so that's why we are patch one i will just show you the table also right you can be see this we are created let's cancel and refresh it our five new item is created and value one okay so now how to uh, pass the two values like we have to value one and value two we have to select value one value two and value three all three values okay so how to do this okay so we let's go and in the number let's test it manually we'll test we'll pass one comma two comma three and just run the flow now you can be see our flow is run successfully let's we go to our power apps and just refresh it so now you can see we have the three records okay in the second record this is current record that we have created and here you can be see all three values are we are selected multi choose okay so uh, this you can also done with the power apps okay uh, like uh, you can be see in my case i have the drop down okay in the drop down first i will load the choices okay this you can be used uh, this formula i have used here okay i will explain you how it's work first first i have taken the choices in the call choices okay all the choices are present here you can be see one two three and values are in the unsupported type okay so number row we are created here okay by using this for all function in for all function what we are doing we just counting the rows okay so three choices are present so one two three after that we are patching or creating a number loop simply okay so by using the last we are checking the last value means in our collection we have like three values okay so last value is third okay so first and uh, it will run for the first okay so it take the first value first and take the 
first value so first in the last we get the first record so we assign the value 1 2 3 and so on okay let's I format this also so this is the code you can be see and we get the number ID. so here is our power automate flow okay in the power automate flow i just show you the power automate flow as well so this is power automate flow i have taken here input in the input uh, we have to pass the number okay so simply in our case in power apps okay we are simply passing the combo box selected items number rows okay means the value that are selected in combo box okay string value we are passing here i just copy this i will select it one, two three so this is simply we are passing in the power automate flow on the basis of that we are getting the values i just run the flow so you can be understand in this case i will select value one and three so flow is run successfully let's we go to our table and just refresh it so now you can be see our value is passed success Add successfully okay so this is our current record we have created that's all about friends i hope uh, you gain some values okay you increase your knowledge and uh, uh, if you have some suggestion for me you can be mentioned in the comment box okay suggestions are always welcome okay that's all about thank you friends have a keep learning keep growing keep exploring that's all about. thanks have a nice day